Hey guys, thought I'd just give you a little update on what's going on here in the brew house. I got a got a Belgian uh, beer going here. It's uh, I just put it into the secondary and uh, added some added some fermentables, added some peach, pear, and cherry juice, and some uh, added a pound of uh, sparkling amber ale, dry malt extract. I mean. There's a little bit of yeast cake going in there. It's supposed to be a Duvel clone, so we'll see how we'll see how it turns out. Let's see what's the temperature on the thing. Yeah, let's see what the temperature is. I think it's about. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. Probably can't see it. It's right at 68 degrees, which looks pretty good. And then over here, I've got, uh, since it's winter time, I've got two going. Uh, this one, this Belgian uh, beer, I'm going to put this in the cold storage for about a month after it, you can see the airlock. She's slowing down a little bit, but uh, it's looking really good. Going to be a golden, golden ale, golden strong. And then over here I got a Cooper's uh, Lager going, a Heritage Lager, and uh, since it's winter time, it'll be easy to be a little bit easier to um, brew these out. I think this one is it's slowing down. It's been it's been fermenting now for about about seven days, I think. It's still moving a little bit. So, but with this cold weather, um, it's time to lager these things out. Get some winter winter brew going. Here, let me show you something. You guys might like this. The National Rifle Association sticker on my brew brew uh, fermenter. But anyway, so I got two brews going. Uh, hopefully, it'll turn out good. Hoping, hoping. Keep my fingers crossed. Oh, looks like the looks like the home brews come along pretty good. I'm on my I think I'm on my eighth eighth uh, home brew now, so um, things are looking pretty good. I got this is um, actually the first this was my first brew that I did was a was a Cooper's Irish Stout, and it's about it's about six months in the bottle now. So I thought I've got some. Uh, got about a six pack out in the cold storage and then I've had this sitting in the fridge for a while so I'm gonna pop her open just uh, just kind of curious to see how she is after after six months I don't know I I have no idea what it's gonna be like I don't even know if it's who knows let's see let's give it a give it a shot oh that sounded pretty good Had a little squeak to it if you can Wow, that smells that smells like that smells like coffee. It smells like dark. I don't know if this is gonna be I'm not sure how if I should pour this very aggressive or no, nope, I better take it easy. It's really Yeah, so this this was actually this was the very first wow, look at that. It's got some nice about a two fingers ahead on there. Wow, that just yeah. I think I think the aging really really did something for this beer. This was uh, um, it was a Cooper's um, Brewmaster Irish Stout, and it was my very first beer that I did. So I just trying to keep it real simple, just trying to get the you know figure out the techniques and the sanitation and all that kind of stuff. But it, basically, it was just a liquid malt extract and a dry malt extract. And uh, um, it was a hopped kit, so I didn't add any hops to it. And then uh, basically just mixed it together. Didn't I brought it up to? I remember I didn't boil it. I brought it up to about 160 degrees. That way, um, you know, you can still sanitize it uh, above 160 degrees, and then uh, cool it down. I didn't have a wart chiller then. I cooled it down in the sink with ice, and then 
you know, I got it down to about, I think I got it down to about 80 degrees, and then I pitched the yeast, which was just a Cooper's yeast bit. Uh, it, it was just a real simple, basic kit. And, uh, I don't know, it was the first time I did. The, the aging really did, did some, uh, I, I tasted it all along the way, and I think it's gotten just, God, it smells like coffee and chocolate. It, the aging just done wonders for it, so. This is my very first one. I'll, let's give it a go. I made it in June. It is November now, so. You know, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. On the back side, you can just, it's got uh, just a chocolatey malt right on the back side. The front side, it's got some fantastic carbonation, really it's gotten really good. I, I guess it, I don't know, I primed it with, uh, um, God, what did I use? I used the, uh, they just, they sent just the regular uh, dextrose. Um, but I've been using the Creamy X, but actually the regular dextrose is working. That worked fine too. God, it just, wow. <laughs> Very simple beer, just liquid malt extract basically and some dry malt extract. Wow, man. So the, the home brewing has been going really good. Um, I've kind of, this Belgian Belgian beer, I, I went ahead and uh, trying to make a kind of a Duvel clone. I got some Belgian yeast and then uh, doing some in the secondary, uh, when I transferred it over, I put in some extra, extra sugars, try and bump it up a little bit, and then I'm going to cellar it out at around probably 38 to 40 degrees for a month or so. Then I'll go ahead and bottle it and then uh, age it out a little bit, see how she goes. But yeah, boy, I tell you what, I don't know if you can see that, just super dark. Um, yeah, the beers have turned out good. I've just, I, I, I think the secret here, where I'm making my beer right here in my, my apartment, we've got water that comes off the Cascade Mountains and uh, our city, um, we actually have, we get it from uh, Tacoma, I live in a small town, Fife, but we get Tacoma water, then we have some well water, so it's kind of a mixture, but they give us a, a printout um, of all the, the uh, ingredients and minerals, and our water is pretty good with uh, manganese and, uh, God, what's the other one, calcium, but I think our water profile here um, I think it's just, it's perfect for making beer. I, I just think it is. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't add, it, I don't do anything to the water. I just, you know, use nice fresh water out of the tap and, man. Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Here's a shout out to OD. He just made partner. I guess he's getting uh, advertisers going on his channel now. So, hey, congratulations, man. Um, and that, that uh, 40 ounce uh, malt liquor I did, I was just joking around. I did drink the beer, but not, you know, not all at once. I split it up. That's a lot of beer for me. So anyway, hey, congratulations, OD. Uh, more power to you, man. You got about seven or 800 subscribers. So that's, that's nice. That's excellent. So guys, keep making your beer. Uh, it's a good hobby. But remember, stay home and drink. Don't drink and drive, guys. Stay home with your home brew. Drink with your friends and family. So, anyway, just an update, and uh, I'll I'll be back with you in a few days. Probably more like a week. But I got some beers to review. I got some uh, beers I've got from the beer store, so I'll be doing some more reviews, guys. Take it easy. Catch you on the rebound, guys. Little home brew, and this for my Canadian brothers in the, the Molson Molson Canadian bottle. But it's home brew, guys. It's home brew. Okay, catch you later on the rebound.